Hey guys, Q&A number eight. Let's get straight into it here. First question is, I've never been able to digest protein powder. Is there a product you'd recommend? So if you can tolerate dairy, um, but you just aren't tolerating a specific protein powder that you're, you're taking in, there's a chance that maybe a whey protein isolate would work for you or a hydrolyzed whey protein. Hydrolyzed whey protein, just spoiler alert, does not taste good. Uh, the whey protein isolate still, still has a pretty good taste to it. Um, but yeah, there's a chance that you're just not tolerating something in that specific product, but you do tolerate dairy. And then there is a chance that you're just dairy intolerant or lactose intolerant across the board. And then a whey protein is just going to be out of the question for you. So you're going to have to toy with that and experiment, try maybe a whey protein isolate. If you still don't tolerate that, then uh, whey protein and then most likely dairy just across the board is uh, probably not going to work for you. Or there could be a chance that you have a casein intolerance, which is um, another protein in there, which I'm not going to get into, but um, you might want to look into that as well. Second one is what are your thoughts on Soylent or, okay, or MRPs? So MRPs are meal replacement shakes um, or meal replacement powders. So Soylent, this one specifically, is a soy-based one, which is actually basically the cheapest source of protein that you can get. So a lot of people put it in, uh, companies put it in protein bars and things like that just because it's dirt cheap. It's not the greatest quality. But uh, meal replacement powders across the board can work if, if you integrate them into your lifestyle properly. But a lot of these programs will have you just drinking shakes all day long. And I'm not a fan of that just because I don't think it's maintainable. I don't think that um, you it's plausible to do that for the rest of your life, essentially. It's it's um, not enjoyable. Uh, you're gonna wanna chew food at some point. And, and yeah, MRPs, like I said, they can work, but you're gonna have to kinda toy with your own, your own eating program and figure out if that's gonna work for you long-term, or maybe it can just be a temporary thing that you can make work, but um, it totally depends on you. Third one is, how do I manage stress eating? So I'm just going to talk about me personally. It's been, uh, it's, it's, it's been like a continuing practice for me. So finding different ways to um, channel stressors or deal with stressors. Now, as far as handling everybody else's stress eating, that's you know outside my pay grade. But um, I, I'd say find some, find hobbies that you enjoy, find things that you enjoy to do, and fill like quote unquote fill yourself with other things than food specifically or booze or whatever it may be but obviously this is a huge question and um, super individual to everybody but for me personally um, it's it was just an ongoing process where I found different hobbies to do and found like constructive ways to use that energy in other ways and not just towards um, food and kind of stuffing all that stuff back down. Now, um, like I said, this is a super big topic and I'm, I'm not going to get into it because uh, I could talk forever on it. But um, yeah, just maybe find what works for you. Find some hobbies, find some uh, some different things that you enjoy, like, you know, painting, drawing, whatever it may be, and, and see if you can kind of um, pass the time in, in different ways as opposed, or use that energy, I won't say pass the time, but use that energy towards something else. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, Q&A number eight is complete. If you have any questions for further Q&As, uh, post them in the comment section below or just hit me up, email, Facebook, whatever. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks guys, see ya.